Hi everybody, I'm back again. Um, this is just an ordinary blog video while I show you a process of a comic I did recently. This is um, based off the um, well-documented Congress um, trial of Mark Zuckerberg. But it's not... Well, it kind of is, you know. When you really look at the punchline itself, you can kind of get a grasp of it pretty quickly. But um, to me, this was just really a one of joke, joke strip I thought about. And um, this, um, it was inspired by me doing a live stream of like some gameplay. And I was constantly being reminded that I have to keep the app open to upload the video fully. And um, it did finally manage to do that in the middle of the day the other the other day, <laughs> and um, it just kept reminding me of that, and that's just because I thought it would normally. I guess it wouldn't take that long to compress. I guess it's not. It's a bit like YouTube's um, upload speeds, or you know. And it's just so strange that it kept, like, reminding me of that, that I had to think about, you know. <laughs> I had to make it a more layered, interesting, like, reveal. Or, like, punchline. <laughs> you all know we love Zuck. <laughs> he, he just wants to be human, you know. Um, but yeah. Don't know if this is a political thing because I don't like politics as much, but there you go. If that's what you take away from it, then I'm fine with that. Um, also, my holidays have officially begun as Friday because um, it's my uh, last week of term, and I think I've got I think I got the things I had done, um, things I wanted done completed like I did this series of six photographs and had to write about how I created them in detail with diagrams and uh, it was pretty good I'd actually hang I'd actually put one of the photos on on my like wall I'd say um, <laughs> I'm impressed actually um but yeah for now I'm just gonna take it easy well We'll get to the other stuff, but um, most of the time I'm going to take it easy. Uh, there is some stuff, school stuff, actually. Like, it's kind of, there's two things I have to complete, and another two things I have to, like, uh, just, one, I have to, like, research and understand, process the information, and um, that'll be one step out of the, off the, the, um, that one step of the process completed and the other is just to um, conceive an idea for a photographic layout and <laughs> that that just makes me think um, that I, that just really put press put pressure on me to get like a new camera but um, uh, like a DSLR because I've had to borrow the school one um, power shot a G9 I think it is or something like that it's a Canon but uh, it is kind of a limited camera and <laughs> and I know the um, and there's another thing today too I went to I went to my sister's house because she had a, a kid and it's her birth, one year old birthday first birthday and <laughs> it was pretty good we had a lovely lunch, and we played with the baby a little. It was nice, and we also watched like the Commonwealth Games on TV. <laughs> pretty cool. Um, food was pretty good. She cooked it. She and her partner cooked it herself, and uh, we had a nice time. Uh, and um, yeah, We're, it's kind of like uh, we. I've said before that we had we have similar birthdays around the same time of year and so I think me and mum decide 
decided that we'll have like a fancy dinner somewhere on the Saturday because my birthday is actually on this Saturday and um <laughs> which is cool because that's the day after work and um yeah and I've also like forwarded it uh her this idea like of a camera of DSLR I mean could improve the vid like the visual quality of videos but most of the mostly I'm kind of doing it for short term reasons <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to just, yeah, that's just the truth, you know, but, um, yeah, for the, you know, assign for the assignments I mentioned earlier, like doing them over the holidays, my plan is really to do maybe one, one, maybe two hours, if it takes that long, one, one hour a day over the course of two weeks, holiday, just to get the important stuff done and to conceive and research the other two. And, um, it, and I hope that's, um, I'm, gu I'm guessing like the last two things I'm gonna, gonna like put off to the end of it, cause that's just, you know, me, you know, I mean, <laughs> is there real pressure if it's gonna take like maybe half an hour to do a little research? The others are more intensive, and I'm halfway through them, technically. Um, uh, they're not as difficult, but, yeah, I've learned a few, like, fundamentals about it, but I just have to complete those ex those assignments by the end, and, and, the, and which will be the first week back. Um, but yeah, and uh, today I also cleaned my desk because I was in a bad mood and I thought, you know, maybe this, I should really just buy some expensive art, <laughs> like, desk supply, which I did end up doing, but it's nice looking, come on, and also I bought a few markers, like the Faber Castle pit brushes, you know, I think I'll just use them for sketching, make my books, my sketchbooks more colorful. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, wow. See, I don't have a lot, I don't have a lot to talk about, and I'm trying to fill up 20 minutes, but, you know, I'll try my best. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I cleaned my desk, and I actually got it to look pretty good. I know there are a few little choice, um, spots where I've just clearly put things out of the way. Sometimes... Uh, like I'll, I'll have a a pencil tray like I'll have one or two pencil trays that's that like busy and um, I'll just put them to the side I have this whole like arm's length of just free space now it's pretty awesome uh, and also yeah it feels good doesn't it it's not oppressive now as I <laughs> as it was like this morning, you know, there would, there would be like papers and like, like put on top of each other and it would be, it would just all this dust and eraser, eraser dust and not pencil shavings, just dirt, you know, like <laughs> it gets to the stage sometimes, like when I don't clean or when I just let it, you know, when I just go easy. Um, oh my god, I celebrated this, uh, end of term, also, by going to see, uh, a horror film on, on the Friday 13th, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, and I went to see a film called The Quiet, A Quiet Place, and it's by John Krasinski, which I've heard, which I know he's played Tim, or Jim on The Office, American version, um, I just think, uh, I think it's really cool how, like, he started out as, like, a comedian, and now he's making this serious horror film, which I actually enjoyed, by the way. That's my final, like, verdict. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, it just makes me think, like, my, su I've had, like, work that's, um, the work that's been successful, I mean, in the past, has been, like, these sort of 
humor strips, like with the, like the Zuck comic I'm showing you right now, like they've um, got me likes, very few, but that's obviously what people respond to, you know, and um, <laughs> just makes me think that I, I could start there. Like, I have a place that's working for me, and I can still evolve, and people can, like, um, still, you can get to a point where, you know, you can try new things, and you don't have to be in a box all the time, like, say, a comedian like John Krasinski, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, the actual brilliant movie was really cool, uh, <laughs> there was a guy who, like, walked out of the theater saying, like, Whoever wrote the script for this sucks. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, it's probably two pages, but yeah, you're entitled to your opinion, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I enjoyed the movie pretty much. Uh, if you don't know what it's about, it's like it's basically like a family is wandering through like a post-apocalyptic world where these creatures um, uh, sort of... They kill you if they hear you make a noise. And now my cat is making noise too. Oh, fuck. Uh, and now, yeah. Like, the movie starts out on day 86 of that, like... I'd, I'll say it's an invasion of sorts. And, um... Go fuck yourself, Benny. Uh, and, yeah, the it's really... I think it's really tense throughout. Because whole movie has no dialogue, almost no dialogue, maybe one, ten or, maybe ten lines or so, and, um, they mostly talk in sign languages, and it's really cool, how, because it, like, it also explores what, how they were, how they would live in a world like that, how they would exist, because, <laughs> the, it does a time skip later on, a year later, and the, the mother is having a baby, and she has like this um, cradle set up. It's but the cradle is like a box with a lid on it, and they they're planning to like put ni put this um, uh, breather attached to nitrous gas, uh, which will hopefully like silence the baby, and which um, because as we know these creatures can kill you if they hear you. And, um, it's just really interesting. Another detail is, like, they'll show this montage of them just, um, getting ready to, like, you know, go to sleep and shut the fuck up! Uh, let's see, um, they'll, like, just in their homes being silent and they'll eat food. They'll eat their dinner, but on, like, lettuce, bit like, beds of lettuce instead of just plates, because, as we know, plates are pretty noisy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, um, and the reason they, like, gas, like, they put the, the gas mask on the baby is because, like, you know, babies make a lot of noise and such, and I thought that was a pretty interesting way they explored that concept. Um, yeah, like, it wasn't that pretty, that wasn't that long, but it was, you know, pretty, um, I think it was pretty good throughout, you know, um, yeah. So, I like that. It kind of gave me ideas and um, made me reflect. But, yeah. Overall enjoyable experience. And, um, yeah. I did the um, comic all in uh, Clip Studio this time. Just to save time, you know. Um, maybe. Actually, maybe... No, no, I actually made the frames in Clip Studio, and then, and then I drew it in, drew it in with the blue pencil, and added inks, and, um, I guess I want it to be more multimedia, and, um, and easy to, like, manage, um, and, uh, yeah, easy to play around with colors when you have a digital comic, um, and the text box, yeah. I think I had maybe one or two thumbnails. The main draw, I think, is the iPhone interface, based off. It's based off the live feature of Facebook, 
and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a little medium awareness I've inserted in there, but yeah, um, I think I'll do it for this <laughs> badly explained video. Um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Once again, cheers.